Goryeo faced invasions by the Kitans, leading to three major wars. Among those since December of the year 1010, 2011. If we calculate the number of days until February, it's a bit less than two months. Yes. There has been a war in the past. At that time, three unknown heroes emerge. General Gang Gamchan knew everything. General Gang Gamchan. Yeah, yeah. The remaining three people. A stay mm. of execution, Ha Gong Jin. Yang Gyu. Probably Some of you two. might be hearing this name for the first time. You must have many. Starting today, we will take a closer look at Ji Chai Moon, Ha Gong Jin, and Yang Kyu. One by one, one by one, one by one. First of all, there is not much record even among those. From time to time, when there's an event, these people's names come up. So we gather them all together. Today, let's talk about the story of Ji Che Mun. In the history of Goryeo, it is recorded that Ji Che Mun died in the year 1026, the 17th year of Hyun Jong's reign. The age at the time of death, that is, uh, even though it's not the case. Fortunately, there's a section in the history of Goryeo that goes into the biographies called the biographies of distinguished figures. The first phrase of the Chronicle of the Disabled comes from Bong Joon-ho. He claims to be the master. Mm. It means a person from Bongju, and Bongju is now Bongsan in Wanghai province, from Huanghe to Bongsan, hence called Bongju Ji or Bongsan Ji. This is how it's referred to, excluding that records that can identify a person named Ji Ke Mun are really rare, first of all. 1,000 hours were spent on the record of the history of Goryeo Saga. There is a record that he was appointed as the, as the middle captain in the first year of King Yunjong, marking the first document about him. The term Jung Rangjang refers to it's a military position. At that time, it became a military official's position. It's a question of age, which is a bit frustrating. In 2010, Ji Chi Mun was appointed. Dukka, the rank of Yung Yang Jang is that of a ninth grade official commanding around 500 soldiers. I am a military commander, and he was in the position of Jung Nang Jang until February 1011 which is when the war with the Kitans ended. Hence, through, throughout the war with the Kitans, his position was that of a Yung Yang Jang. The title is Middle Captain. Thus, during wartime, the role of delaying tactics was, you can understand it as, after the war ended, the king granted 30 plots of land. This record appears again. It must have been a reward for his contributions during the war. And then in the year 1016, records also show that in the seventh year of Hyun Jong, they were made a right state counselor. Mr. Wu is an official in charge of language and culture at the Central and Western Cultural Agency. It's the highest official position among Eonguan during the Goryeo dynasty. It's a bit difficult to directly compare it to the Joseon era, but it's a very important position similar to that of an embassy. This has been passed down among civil officials. It's an official position. But Ji Che Moon was a military official who went through Jung Nang Jang, so it's specifically mentioned in the history of Goryeo. He became a civil officer despite being a warrior. Being a military official, this position was held concurrently. This particular record was specially noted. It was an exceptional case, and being appointed to such an exceptional position means they were recognized for their contributions or abilities. This is a point that can be evaluated. And then 11 years later, in the year 1027, during the 17th year of Emperor Hyun Jong's reign, he became a military officer. So he died. Upukya, Upukya died. That's how it is set up. Whether it's the left or the right, among the three stars of Goryeo, Small it medium. is the second ranking official position in Sangsong among the castle culture and commerce. That's a very high position. Generally, in Goryeo, those of at least second rank were considered noblemen. However, the Vice Minister of the Board of Rights does not receive such treatment because it's a position with no responsibilities. It's an honorary position. So by this time, it can be said that Ji Komun was almost retired from active duty, but he died in the same year he was appointed. 
So he couldn't enjoy the benefits of the position for long. It's somewhat chilly here, and that's as far as it goes. Everything that can be written on a resume about an individual, when you're asked to write one on a paper, and while there are not many records on the rest of the epistles, at least the rest of the record starts from December of the year 1010, 2011. For two months until January, it's a record of a past life. Mm. So rather than knowing about the epistles, this chronicle serves to know about the war conditions in which the epistles were active. It's used more. Let's read the Kaktat, the document of 10 battles together. It records the events of the war like this. Next is the Kitan army layer. We uh, heard the news. It resulted in order, ordering the military to provoke and camp at the governors defending the northeast direction. That's how it's described. News of the Kitan army's invasion. Then this... By any chance, did you stop by Goryeo in the year 1010? It is May. The city the document we're discussing was sent to the emperor in December of the year 1010. Seven months before that, Seongjong of Goryeo made a move, says he will crusade. Now the conquest, things like this, I told you to be careful. A punitive expedition means going to scold someone when they have done something wrong. From the perspective of the Kitan Emperor Taejong, it could be said, I'm going to discipline you. I'm going to punish you. From Goryeo's perspective, it wasn't a punitive expedition. It was an invasion. So when we talk about it, we say that the Kitan Emperor Taejong invaded Goryeo. Mention, we, we must do it this way. Thus the aura of war fades. Then, in early December, Emperor Xiangzong of Liao leads his troops to attack Goryeo. They directly invade. At this time, the king appoints Kangjo to the position of Hengyong Do Tongsa to take charge of defending the northwest side. Now, Seobokmyeon is the Sobokmyeon of Goryeo. So, it's the time of Hwangeido and Pyongan province. It becomes the main battlefield because if the Kitan army enters, they will come through Uju and into the northwest. So naturally, Goryeo must also go there to block them. So towards this northwest direction, defending this site, becoming a, a com Tekane chief commander is one thing. But where did Jikchum go now? He went to the northeast, didn't he? It feels more like an auxiliary force in a different direction of the main battlefield. So it ends up being stationed in Huaju, which is now hero of South Hamgyong province. There is a passage in our national history textbooks about this governor. After the war with the Mongols ended, the Mongols established something called the dual capital general government in what is now north of the Huaju River and directly governed it. At uh, that time, the same document we are discussing was stationed there. So Kitan Xiongjong is leading a large army to invade Goryeo from Shobukmyeon. The emphasis is on moving westward to a place called Tongju. Hmm. This governor is now what we call Pyongan. It was in northern Chonchon County, where our forces clashed with the army of Kitan Emperor Shengzong, resulting in our defeat. It was closed by Gangjo and connected with Liyeo, captives such captains. So, the king orders Jichomun to not stay there and come defend Shekyong. Once the main pass is breached, the next fortress that can stop the Goryeo army is Seokyeong became Pyongyang. Therefore, the document of status that was in Huaju came to Seokyeong swiftly. We move again, and now we can see the activities of Jisheon from this quote. Jichomun receives a royal command, and immediately we advance and fortify. There is a place called Gangdeokjin, which is located in Pyongan South Province, Jiangcheon. While this was happening, such an event occurred at sunset. This is an event from December 10th, 2010. From Tongju, while fighting with emphasis, they were defeated here and some surrendered. At that time, a person named Nohi, who surrendered, became a guide for the Goryeo. A long time person. Came to court with someone named Yu Kyung and then persuaded to surrender. Surrender. Tongju was captured. General 
Kang was captured and met his death, and we all surrendered. So you should surrender too. They talk about this so naturally. Seok Young would be shaken. It's shocking to hear that Kang Jo lost. Mm. Seo Young people, led by a wealthy person named Won Jong Seok, discuss and draft a surrender document. We should surrender. I heard this news at Jichem from Gang Dok Jin. Upon hearing that Seok Young intends to surrender, they hurriedly led the troops to Seok Young, but the gate was not opened. Because the people of Seok Young decided to surrender, when the Goryeo soldiers advocating for a fight against the Kitans appeared, it complicated things, so the gate was not opened. He is a subordinate of Jichemun, a person named Choi Chang he called Cho Jage, and says, we hurried here following the royal command, but now we can't enter. Why is this happening? When asked, Jojak said that the idea came, so they suggested surrendering, and now we aim to surrender. So one thing uh, led to another in the conversation. And then I do not agree with that, saying the manipulation opened the door. Ji Che Moon leads the army. Successfully managed to take it to the southern corridor and station it in court. So, oh. so what should we do with those people who were about to surrender? Oh. And then there was this person named Nohi. The people who came. Who came to recommend surrender. I mean someone who had surrendered to Goryeo and became a collaborator. Did all these people die? That is in court. The these people. Let's catch dreams. These they people grab Taro and say, "Let's fight." Then one Sukseok who had been floating in court said, "It shouldn't be like this." This person was always afraid, so Jichamun couldn't fight here. So Kyung Kasser to the north sent the army with Su. No Hui and Yu Kyung waited for the return to the Goryeo army. Those people have the documents to surrender, it's taken away. So we burn this. See, this is how Seokyeong was about to surrender, but then changed direction to fight again. And then the court's people who were supposed to surrender actually revolted. I start a fire. We're not going to fight. We're going to surrender and live like this. The outcasts are expelled from the castle, finding themselves outside in the northeastern inspection area of Dosun. In other words, this person too, originally from the northeast side, not the northwest, a person named Taksajong leads an army and advances towards Seogyeong. So they say, they say that with the help of this army, the castle was recaptured. So after, after quelling a small rebellion in Seogyeong, the army led by Tak Sajong and Ji Che Moon could enter. In this situation, the king in Ge Gyeong emphasis has developed. Hearing this, I thought, isn't this an unbeatable situation? That's why the king sent a letter to Emperor Shengzong of Liao proposing to stop fighting. Stopping the advance, a request was made saying, if you stop, I will personally intervene. Hearing this, the Kitan emperor agreed. If you believe it, Richard, I'll go back he to... then ordered his troops to cease looting. A person named Mabahu was appointed as the governor of Gegyong. A person named Wang Paul was made the vice governor of Gegyong. And to put it another way, we will take control of Gegyong. That's the story. Ah. Well, this was an unexpected response from Goryeo's Hyunjong. It's scary here. If the war stops and returns at this stage, where Seok Yong has not yet fallen, I will be friendly. Kyo and Seong Jong liked that idea. Okay, I'll allow it. We understood that we were to advance the army further south and take over Gaekyong. I'm using this as a horse riding device, sending it as an attachment in the background. Considering this, it's natural to think that we should fight again. Mm. Meanwhile, in court, it's the next day, December. Mm. On the 11th day, that is the small rebellion I mentioned earlier, just as the Northeast, Northeast Sea Circuit inspector arrived, this all happened in one day on December 10th. 
So it went back to courts on December 10th when Gyoranju happened. To a person named Hanmun Injin Sahang, the shock cavalry, leading 200 kilometers to attack the North Gate at sunset. It was done. We, we shouted from outside the fortress saying, the emperor had, uh, had previously sent an edict to investigate with Yu Kyung and Ruyi, explaining it clearly. I told you to be happy, but how come there's still no news from you? Why haven't we heard anything? Yes, Jicham burned the message before it could reach us. Why is there no news of the declaration of surrender? Mm. If you are not going to disobey the orders, the courts, officials and bureaucrats should all come out and receive my commands. They urge for surrender. Now upon hearing this, Taksajong and Jishom gathered at the meeting. He ordered the charge with his cavalry. Suddenly, a chill led the way. Attacking the Kitan army, that's right. So, cutting down more than 100, capturing all the rest, not a single one returned alive. 200 troops, troops arrived. Out of them, 100 were killed and the rest were captured. That's the victory we achieved. Now, it's time for Chu Sajing. Go further out and lead with the body text, fighting your room outside the castle. Who is this old room? The very person who escorted Mabo, commanding a thousand cavalry, they fight here and win. So Ulam and Mabo were defeated and fled. Jichimun also achieved another victory. Seeing this, the people of Shogyong thought, can we win? Then the situation inside the city stabilized a bit. So Taksa Jong entered Seongang. Kiche Library and Yiwun went to the temple called Bahaisa and were stationed there. So he said this, and then the Liao dynasty sent a force again to attack. So the scout reports the enemy very close to Pyongyang. There are a lot stationed by the sun, and they report this without delay after hearing Perhaps it. to taxation. Reporting again. It was a dad joke without delay. Let's move on to the next day, December 12th. Thak Sajong and the monk, Bupwon, mobilized 9,000 soldiers together facing the enemy from the south. Yim Won Yung fought and learned over 3,000 techniques. This is truly a great victory. Fighting against the Kitan army at the Moon Station, 3,000 ranks were taken here, referred to as the court. Already. Participation in the war took place. There was a winning army, and then the story that the court uh, perished right after this horrifying record comes out the next day. Exciting. So they fought with the Kitans. So we won. Retreats. So the Kitan army flees. It seems like it was caught before X time. Here's the record that comes out. The text wins. was seen. Castle in the, the officers and soldiers looked at it. They came out arguing and chased after them. Came out of the castle and cooled off in the distance. We went for the chase. Kanir. All right. Suddenly the Goryeo oh, army turned and red. attacked. Our troops were defeated. Finally, the fortress goes boom. It happened as expected. It was up. Thus, the battle at Seokyong becomes an unpredictable situation. Goranju stationed in the western temple of Seokyong Song. At that time, the commander's heart wavered. Taksa Jong, who has fought well so far, suddenly becomes frightened and thus deceives General Daidosu by saying, The general, a great this leader, person has fallen from his horse. It must be a person. At that time, a great leader from Balhe led the army. It might be the army brought from Balhe, deceiving Daidosu by saying, if you go out to East Gate and I go out the West, attacking from both sides, we will win. Boldly, he led his soldiers out the West Gate and fled. So, as promised, Daidosu, this gate, this gate of Pyongyang is called Dedong Gate. But there is no Taksajong army that should come out to the west when exiting this east gate. Even the Sabah, though they realized they were deceived, they judged that they couldn't stand against it with all their might. 
So they led their subordinate units and surrendered to the anxiety. When one of the two commanders runs away and the other surrenders, many soldiers scatter and the city becomes ominous, trembling with fear. Mm. Well, still not surrendered on December 15th. Military officials like Jo Won, Ai Su Jinjang, Gang Min Chom, Nang Jang, Hong Hyop and Bang Yu were at a loss for what to do. They went to the shrine to have their fortune told. When they had their fortune told, it turned out to be an auspicious sign. Uh, a good fortune appeared. Trothling. Joan was promoted to Bingmasa and reorganized the defeated army, securely closing and guarding the city gates. Sometimes Samcha fortune telling proves to be effective as time passes. Mm. December 27, Jichimun reappears hurrying back to Gyeongju and learning about the situation in Seoul. Ji Kim-un went out of the fortress and was counter-attacked, wasn't he? Hello. So probably into the castle. It seems like we couldn't get in. Let's go into the Instead castle. Instead being outside. Uh, Instead of this, we should quickly go to Daegyeong and report to the king. You might think, they must have thought this on December 27th. They arrived in Gyeong and found out about Seokyong's situation. Many officials argued for surrender. Uh, the sunset must not fall. It was uh, claimed that they could not fight and therefore would surrender. By this time, I mentioned Kang Gamchan's name comes up for the first time. He alone recommended the king to flee south. Upon hearing this, Hyun Jong decides to flee south where Ji Chae Moon makes a supportive statement for Kang Gamchan saying this, although I am dull and fearful, however, I will do my duty by your side. I will help you. Let's go south, he said. So the king asked Ji Che Moon, you've already worked hard outside, and yet they found it very honorable that I offered to help playing around. Food, uh, he gifted a horse saddle, met a silver rein. On this escape, only a burden you must have been. Nonetheless, gave this gift, decided to head south. On this day, December 28th, in the evening, the king, who be back then, Hyun Jong had two queens. With Weibo and Chai Chung Sun, they left the capital with about 10 people. It was a very simple procession. They left the city with about 10 people. It was a very simple procession. There were only 50 soldiers to guard this procession. So ma, it must have seemed easy. The procession to Jiksong. We are now in Jiksongmyeon, Paju City, at a place called Danju Station. There, a soldier named Gyeonyong attempted to storm the palace with others, aiming their weapons when Ji Chemun rode his horse over and shot with his bow, the enemy also shot back. Scattered at first, then suddenly emerged from the southwest mountains, blocking the way. Ji Chemun fought back fiercely, driving them away. Almost like Ji Chemun became the king's royal guard, all by himself. Isn't it cool? Kind of like Zhao Zilong from the Three Kingdoms. You know the scene where it's said that Zhao Zilong attacked like wielding a sacrificial knife. That's about Liu Bei's. To protect his wife and son, Zhou Jarayong single-handedly fought back just like that. Should we give you a nickname on December 30th, something like this the happened? The Royal Procession. Huayun, uh, now Yangju city in Gayonggi province, we arrive here. A villager sends someone to shout and say this. Ha Gunjini the military. He told me rumors that Huibungjin was coming this way. So Jichonmun, why are you coming here when asked? Why Hagongjin came, Hyangri replied. Trying to catch Choi Wong Sun, Kim Wong In and others. It's said to be coming. What this means is not that Xiao Dun is coming to protect the king, but they spread rumors that they were organizing a large counterattack to come here. But the next day, the next day was January 1st, 10, 11. It's New Year's Day. It's New Year's, so after bowing to elders and such, there was no de determination. Chishemon led the two queens out first through the north gate of the quarters. He, he secretly allowed him to escape.
personally driving the king's horse, take the private road to Dobong Temple. Mm. They secretly took ref refuge in Dobong Temple without the enemies knowing. Then Ji Chemon reassured Hyun Jong. There are rumors of betrayal against the king and invading this place. It doesn't seem like it's the lower palace guards. I'll find out who they are and what happened. I will look into it. When I said so, Hyun Jong was afraid that even the paper door might run away and refused to allow it, saying, Dumunap, do not leave my side. He was holding it. So he even said things like delay inquiries. If I betray the king and my words and actions differ, heaven will surely kill me. I will receive divine punishment. So the king finally gives his permission. Now Ji Chimun leaves Dobong Temple and heads to Changwa County and then there's Ha Gong Jin. Finally they meet. Why Ha Gong Jin came here at this time will be explained again on Ha Gong Jin's side. And Ji Chimun is to Ha Gong Jin. What happened? Why do I hear rumors that you have come here to start a rebellion? That's what needs to be questioned. Then Ha Gong Jin will probably talk this and that, mainly like this. Could it be that Ha Gong Jin has indeed staged a rebellion? That wasn't it. This has now been confirmed. At that time, the army led by Ha Gong Jin. It was no less than 20 people. Just two hours. Bringing the spirit and heading to where the king I is. I was watching. So Ji Che Moon uses Ha Gong Jin's army to enter Changhua County. Enemies in training. The king Formation. was happy to get back five Coming. pairs of shoes. We had to go outside. My petition says this to the king. According to my findings, Ha Gong Jin has. It was not such a day. And now Ha Gong Jin has come with us. I told them to keep their distance from Ha Gong Jin because he's leading an army of 20. When it's brought up, the king only that. Still surprising you to know. see. So it's not what Ha Gong Jin did first. No, Ha Gong Jin is coming over there like this. After discussing and understanding the situation like to, this. To, to arrange a meeting with the king is quite a meticulous consideration, isn't it? The king was being served very carefully, even in that difficult situation. So, Mr. Hyun Jung. Now, they're going to meet Ha Gong Jin, saying, well done, and comforting him. Just a hundred. Let's get going. Go to the military and ask for peace. That's why Ha Gong Jin met Hyun Jung and received orders from him. A dispatch is sent to Goryeo's Jomsong. The king's procession continues southward with Ha Gong Jong in Gwangju, Gyeonggi province, staying here. Two people following the king have gone missing. In the chaos, they lose the queen. But talking around Hyun Jong, it's like what man lost his wife. No, how can this be? So to Ji Ki Moon from the command, they, they tell him to search for her. This is totally the style of Hyun Jong, very national. So now Ji Che Moon goes to a place called Jotan Yok to find and bring back two queens. The king rejoices in Gwangju, staying for three days, leaves Gwangju on January 4th. At that time, a person named Ju Jong said, my hometown is Yangsong, Yangsong now I am from Yangsong, Ansong, not far from here. Please come visit my hometown. Thinking it would be somewhat better than here, the king moved to Yangsong Hyon. We, ma we made a royal journey, but then Yu Jong tells another story. We're currently escorting two queens, and they're really weighing on us now. So hometown, send it back as a video. They spoke like this. So Hyun Jong asked, Ji Che Moon, what should we do? Then Ji Che Moon bursts into tears and says, wailing loudly, it means to cry out loud. That's what this is about. It's not so much that I'm crying because I'm sad, but rather I'm telling you how desperately it's not happening. This is the expression I'm giving. It's not right. Now the king and the gods have lost their way. Encountering an unexpected disaster, we're on the run. But by acting according to cause and consequence and righteousness, we must calm the public sentiment. Even sin, in the most desperate situations, one must not forsake humanity, dignity, 
and these values. No matter how hard it is, sending your wife back to her family like this goes against human decency. That's why we can save our lives, but we cannot win the hearts of the people. This is quite... Talking about uh, human dignity in such a dismissive way is rare among believers. That's why the continuation of this discussion is somewhat persistent. Although he appears as a warrior, he does read books. It feels like this, it exists. Thus, it also applies to positions like being revered. You could have climbed it, so the king is right. The general's words are true. That's why I take a step back. The party arrives at Chiksan Cheonnan in the year 4004. As he was passing by, Chiche Moon saw a flock of geese on the field. Let's make the king's heart happy around here. Thinking that it might work, he spurred his horse forward. Suddenly, geese, startled, took to the sky. At that moment, for that Second, reason, you are booty over. shoot the bow upwards. Riding a, ho a horse and looking up at the sky, shooting an arrow, thus bringing down a flying goose. Is this possible? Anyway, since it was done this way, there's no choice but to believe it. So the king was truly happy. Dismounting from his horse, Jiche Moon presented the fallen goose to the king, saying, with someone like me who has such prowess, why worry about thieves? So the king laughed loudly and praised it, something comforting and a bit brave. It was kind of a performance to cause a commotion, wasn't it? So powerful that the king hears Saying and comes to now, me. King Hyundik's wife is pregnant. I can't go far. The queen's hometown, Seonju, is not far from here. It is now called Seonsan Yopo in Gumi City. It was suggested to send it there. Pansan Station is near Gongju now. Chung Nam to Bear School. Thank you. Gumi in North Gyeongsang Province is close, yet it's not far. To that it's extent. Not far. That's how desperate it is. Let's send it off. Then the door to delay becomes the inside. I already said it can't be done. So when I said no once, that means there's consistency. That's why it can't be done. And when I said that Chung it Jong, ends it's with an calling situation. it Hyunduya and you. Wangwu. We'll send it to Goyang. Seonju, send to Seonsan Yap Gumi City, North Gyeongsang Province, as the number one. Now, only one queen remains. In this state, keep going south. This is Yo Yang Yon. It's in Yo San Myon, Iksan, Jola Bukdo. While staying here, the soldiers attempted a revolt. The soldiers who had accompanied the king up to there. Whoa, we can't go on like this anymore. Saw the uprising. Then Jishimun proposed to the king. When the, the Taijo unified, he always rewarded those who contributed, no matter how small their contribution. Especially now, as we face hardships, it's crucial to win the hearts of the people by first rewarding and motivating. Ordered his soldiers to be rewarded, but there was no reward for Shin Jong Ho. So, we don't have anything right now, do we? But doesn't the king have an infinite intangible reward? Yes, following that suggestion, the king grants the position of a dying man. What is this position? It's a kind of promissory note saying you'll be treated well once you recover. He calmed them down as they went along. Upon reaching Samsil Station, this place, it's Samsil Ri, Wanjugun, Jola Bukto. Upon arriving here, Jonju Governor Jo yong dressed in morning clothes, it says night clothes, dressed in casual clothes Faced to go. Faced a lot. This is very rude. Meeting the king, they showed up in what they were wearing at home, basically in a tracksuit, and wearing three-striped slippers in front of the king. Uh, can you imagine, if you meet the king, just dress up in celebration of independence. It's groove wire. Person named Jo yong -gyum. Then, this gives a bit of a bad first impression, doesn't it? So, a person serving the king mentioned that Jonju is the capital of Latter Bagche. Taejo also disliked it. Expect it. Please don't go. 
<laughs> so the king did not it entering all... Jeonju, but next to it, there's a station named Janggong. Let's go to the station. Finally, on January 13th, the king enters Naju. The destination was Naju, right? Entering Naju at night, a scout mistakenly reported that the Kitan army had arrived. So the king was greatly surprised to think they were chased all the way here by the Goryeo people. That's really surprising. So they ran outside. And then Jichemun reported, if the king moves at night, to Pai, the people will be surprised and confused. So please enter the palace first. After spying and finding out, you can then move. That's what was said. Mm -hmm. A lookout went outside to check around. A figure known as Song Kyun Won, a prosecution investigator, Ha Gong Jin's writings were brought over. There was Ha Gong Jin's report, and another thing was, what was it again? And there was a letter from the son-in-law, the Kitan Emperor son-in-law. It must have been a misunderstanding. It seems like a letter to that horse, at the same time as this, looks like a miniature copy. Now, saying it's not just a delay letter anymore, he takes them to the king. Only then, the king also saw Hagogin's document and the Kitan, the army retreats. Learned that they had retreated the Liao army on January 11th, that is, such this. Two days ago, we decided to withdraw and started the withdrawal. Uh... I found out about this at that time. And the letter from the princess's husband also arrived, didn't it? This is Kitan's script. There is no one to decipher the Never meme. really knew the content. Exactly, yes, what is Just this? Just the underwear. In Kitan, they must have thought they conveyed our intentions well through the son-in-law's letter. But in Goryeo, in reality, they couldn't decrypt it and just... Anyway, that's how the news that the Kitan army had retreated was heard. Hayun Jong takes Song takes a breath and returns to Kaesong, Seoul. But on the way back, he reaches Gongju. Suddenly, Jiche Moon is granted 30 plots of land. Thinking back now, Jiche Moon must have been very grateful. A royal decree is issued. The content of the document goes like this. Already fleeing from the enemy's invasion, we went a long way with scenarios we cherished. Mm. Fled. Uh, only Jiche Moon stands against all kinds of hardships. Despite the hardships of crossing mountains and rivers, he did not shirk the effort of holding the reins and upheld the integrity of the pine and bamboo until the end. Pine, pine tree, bamboo. Building a resolve like a moon. Ordered it. There have been many outstanding achievements. How could there not be special grace? Would you cherish it and Coming then... Coming back, uh, continuing in office, he became the right assistant in the 17th, 17th year of Emperor Hyun Jong in the year 1026, reflecting his situation. But... After the Second War with the Kitan, before Jiche Moon dies, there's the third invasion by the Kitans. General Kang Gam Chan fights in this third Dan war. Is. At this time, the name of Jiche Moon was, it does not appear. He was in office, but in that war, he did not engage in any special activities, it is said. When his son, Deok Jong, became king, especially a one-time recognition of merit. Don't mention There's it. an urgent enemy. The king is home. Uh, he says this directly. No. Why was it called a left military commander after dying as a right military commander? This is because the rank goes up after death. It must have gone up. So if Wu Kia appears... Tie them together. And it goes up by one grade to overripe fruit. Be scared anyway. General Gosang's loyalty was fully displayed when the previous king traveled south. First, it is appropriate to record the achievements, encourage future generations to do this. This is the end of the record about the state. And uh, the great-grandson is Jin Okyun. That's how this statement comes about. This beep, is beep, beep, everything beep, beep, beep. you can know about the back gate. Uh, but Ji Moon. Uh, this man became the protagonist. Hoax, if it becomes possible. Even or... as a cameo, it would be much more... Uh... Many more stories will be made. The person who fills the gap between scant records and rich stories is the writer. A writer is not writing a historical documentary. 
they are someone who creates stories based on historical facts. We have to, to acknowledge this and naturally we must accept the fact that historical dramas are fiction, but the author who creates this fiction knows to what extent it is factual. We must clearly understand that there is a realm we don't know yet, but can create. By doing so, we can craft a rich and entertaining story without compromising the little truth that remains. So that's the writer which who enjoy the work also know to what extent it is true and from where on it is the story created by the author. Knowing this, if you watch dramas, you can enjoy them much more without distorting historical facts. So history becomes history that provides benefits so far, Lee Ik-jun has been history.